What's going on guys? So Fnatic released a new update for the V3 pedals and the Fanatec podium. I think there's one for the CSL Elite too, but I haven't really checked for that. So this is really just about the V3 pedals and this update is awesome. So if you play a set of Corsa Competizione or if you play a lot of Gran Turismo, it's really going to benefit because the pedals feel a lot better in my opinion. Now, there's a bonus now for anyone who still does play Gran Turismo. Now your V3 pedals, the motors on them, will work with Gran Turismo Sport. Now that's huge because the entire time that I've had these V3s, I have not been able to use the motor function that comes with these pedals. It would only work when I was you know, playing on PC. So I'm gonna show you what, that, what this new update does here. So let's go into the settings. Now I want you, this is the new thing that they added. It is called, there it is brake level indicator. So what this does, you can control when the motors on your V3s turn on. So I have it set to 30. So what does that mean? So that means 30%. So when I apply 30% pressure on my V3 pedal brake, it will start to vibrate the motors on the back. Now I'm gonna show you. So let's, let's go into the game real quick, okay? It's gonna start driving, I'm gonna wreck. Now look, let's apply. Let me stop the car real quick. Okay, all right. Did you see that? There's 30% right there. 30%. So now, whenever I'm applying a certain amount of pressure, that is going to turn on and it's going to indicate to me, oh, hey, like I have, you know, 30% brake on or I have, you know, 20% brake on, like whatever it is. And that's huge. Because when you, because now you'll know just by pressing the brake, oh, cool, I'm at 60% or I'm at 70%. And I do believe that that's going to make you a little bit quicker around the track. Or for those of you that aren't that great at trail braking, this is going to be a huge benefit because now you can just kind of base it on whenever the motor starts vibrating. So while we're here, I'm going to show you my new settings on the podium. So this is what I'm using right now. For sensitivity, I have 460. Now that's 460 for this car, it just depends on what I'm using. Generally speaking, I keep it around 500. So GT3 cars, when I'm playing a set of Corsa, um, 500 is what I like, but this will go between 500, 550, whatever. And you have to fine tune it depending on the car that you use. Because I find that every single car is different. So this is something that you're gonna have to play with. Uh, force feedback, I keep this at 32. Uh, force feedback linearity, I suggest keeping this off. So if you turn this on, it's actually going to limit the max torque that this base will provide. Uh, to me, that doesn't make any sense why you would use that because it becomes very weak. Even if you keep the force feedback at 32 and then you turn this on, it's just a lot weaker. Everything is just feels kind of blah and soft. And uh, I just feel like I can't really feel the car as much. So I suggest keeping that off. Uh, damper, I keep that off. Friction, off, inertia, off, and interpolation, I keep this at two. Now, the reason why this is at two is that I feel like when this is at zero, the force feedback is a bit rough, especially when you go on curbs, but keeping this at two kind of makes it a bit smoother and it just, it just feels better. It kind of feels like you're going over a real curb. It's a bit more smooth, like, like you're actually on rubber tires, you know what I'm saying? Uh, intensity, I keep this at 80. Force effect, I like this at 100. Spring effect, I have this off. Now I used to use spring effect, spring effect, but I found that it's a bit distracting because it wants to constantly snap back to dead center when you're going through a corner. And this was making me fight the wheel too much. So I really suggest keeping this off. Uh, damper effect, I have this at 20. Just that little bit of damper uh, makes the wheel feel a bit more realistic. I think 20 is that perfect amount. Um, next, we have brake level indicator, like I said, 30%, but you can change this to whatever you want. I feel like a lot of people are probably gonna use 50% for this, but for me, I feel like on a lot of tracks, 30% uh, is really that sweet spot. I feel like it's just a good point uh, to work with. Shock vibration, I have this at 100. MPS, keep that on auto. Brake force, this is going to shock a lot of you. Uh, I keep this at minimum. Now, the reason why I do that is because of the way I have my V3 pedals um, hooked up here. Now, do you see how I twisted the red all the way to the top? Now, I did that because this is incredibly stiff. I made it to where 
you know, it's actually pretty hard to press. So any slight bit of pressure that I, that I give it, it's going to give me, you know, 5%, 10%. I don't want it to have much flex or play like, you know, you would with, um, let's say like these pedals right here. So like on these, you know, you can see these are really, really soft. I mean, I'm, I'm barely doing it. And that's probably what, you know, 20% right there. This, this amount of pressure that I'm applying right here wouldn't even move that thing. So for me, I just like it feeling that way. Um, now let's go into, before we get off here, this is actually kind of important. Oh, you can see me. Um, here, let's look in advanced. Okay, right here. So my max torque in Gran Turismo is four and the sensitivity is one. Now you're probably thinking if you saw my other video, I completely changed this. Well, this used to be 10, but for some reason when I downloaded this new update, it's actually 402, it's not 400 when you download it. Um, when I download the new update, one just feels better. I like sensitivity one and torque feels, the torque at four feels perfect. Cause if you go over four, it starts feeling a bit rubbery for some reason. Like it just, it almost feels like a belt driven wheel when I start increasing this higher. I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. Cause I tried playing with this being at like, let's say eight and then reducing the uh, force feedback torque in here and it doesn't feel the same. So I like keeping this at four and then just adjust your um, torque in here, adjust the, yeah, the force feedback, bump this up to, you know, like 35, 36, if you want a little bit more torque uh, on your wheelbase. But anyway, guys, I think that's it. I think I covered everything. Um, if you do play a set of Corsa Competizione or iRacing or whatever it is that you play, this update is still gonna be great for you. I think it's actually gonna be better if you play a set of Corsa, but it's just nice now that if you play Gran Turismo, your V3s are actually going to work and the motors are gonna work, which is awesome for us Gran Turismo sport players. But anyway, guys, that's it. I wanted to keep this short. I hope you got something out of this video and I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.